Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. I am the R Ingenious, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we tried to go against the King of Skulls yet again, but unfortunately we got into two encounters. In the Devil's Choice encounter we had to fight a Golem and a couple of Radmen. That didn't end up well, and afterwards we had to fight a fight four of scales and died in that encounter. Okay, I admit that was pretty uh, that was pretty poor dying in that encounter, but well, I have I have made poorer choices and been had poorer performances at combat, so I think that's fair. We're gonna try to try again in this episode. I'm not complacent right now. I don't think. I hate to tell you that, but I don't think I'm complacent right now. Once more, the king howls for your flesh. We all know what that's about. That's why I skipped so much there. Oh, I lose 30% max health. I hope I do not come across that thing anywhere. 10 health loss per curse is also awful. At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? The acquiring power. <laughs> One minute in. Golem hunting party. Defeat this challenge three times in one session to remove it from your deck. Excuse me? What? Say that again. On a moonlit night, you see a group of golems on their way to attack another human settlement. The dealer draws you one monster card. Your path leads towards them, but they have not spotted you. Will you attack or try to go around them? Ah, oh, fine. I'll attack. It's just one golem after all. Hey! You charge into battle. I don't know what failure is supposed to mean. You stumble and the golems crush you to death. Most likely. Well, that's a trapped room, isn't it? Yeah, I can see a trap right there on the left. That's awesome. Have I mentioned golems are kind of strong? Like, it's a trap on the right there too, right? Oh, God. W where can I walk here? Those are traps. This seems pretty safe, except for that thing. Nope, that's an AoE. Ouch. My butt. Nope, AoE. Hi. My butt. No, AoE, get away. Get away from that. No. Yeesh. Can you not? Please. I would rather not you... I'd rather you didn't do that. Ow! Why do you have to explode all over the place, man? God. Okay, one golem hunting party dealt with. The loose piles of rock and stones around you are a good start at teaching these creatures a lesson. Some local villagers give you food with thanks. What? But they didn't give me any food. Oh, now I know that there's another goblin hunting party sitting there. Isn't that right? The Lonely Bard. One day on your travels, you meet a familiar face, the young man whom you, be, you, whom you helped escape town with his beloved. He is sitting under a tree, singing to himself. As you approach, you realize that he stinks of ale and his singing is a little too merry. He looks up, at, uh, he looks up as you approach. You! Haven't you caused enough sorrow? He stops to take another sip from a bottle. Thanks to you, we escaped the town. He goes on to explain that once they were free of her father's pursuit, his betrothed ditched him. For the first mercenary we met, if only we'd never left, he continues angrily. Now I must beg for coin to pay for my drink. Ten gold for a song, or have you no pity for fools? Well, pay ten gold. You throw him a few coins and he composes himself. He begins to sing, he conjures up a vivid heartfelt imaginary of beauty and innocence, lifting your morale and inspiring you to epic deeds. The dealer draws you one max health gain card. Nah. The song ends and he drifts into a restless slumber. You continue your journey. Heroes remain. Sorry, dude. I've got, you know, I've got a shave today. 
Ah, oh, of course, being an adventurer means you must wash your hair regularly. All those blood and guts. Sorry, buddy. Gollum hunting party. Hi. On a moonlit night, you see a group of golems on their way to attack another human settlement. The dealer draws you one monster card. I think we're gonna find out what the failure means. Choose from these options. Oh, we didn't. You charge into battle! Okay, what kind of arena do we get here? That looks trapped. Oh, that's exactly the same as before, man. Okay, this was a... Oh, no. This seems awful. Well, I can draw him into the traps also. Yeah, if I don't get stuck on the friggin' rock. Okay. No, dodge away. Ow! I don't, I don't know how to fight here. Down here? Ah. Now he's gonna explode. No, oh, get back behind him. Oh, there's a trap. That's gonna be awful. Ow, I dodged right into his explosion there. Dodge past him. God, I wish he didn't explode all over the face all over the place. I would advise masturbation, maybe. Ow! <laughs> I hate him. How am I... Why did I run? Okay. I guess I can do that all day long. Come on. There's just a trap there. That's a good way of not taking damage. It's not cheesy at all, luckily. <laughs> what, a, <laughs> what a dumb way to do this. Well, fuck you too. That's for exploding all over the face. Not all over the face, by the way. Hope you enjoy that. To me, that trap does a whole lot of damage. I don't know how much damage it does to you, though. He's a very smart being. Nope, I'd, I'd advise you to run in this... Oh, okay, he's coming from behind now. It's awful. I hate it when they come from behind. I should stop. Okay, you're taking that route. Look, there's a trap. How about you go this... Oh, fun. Here, turn around. Don't you want to, you know... I can't attack you through a wall. He doesn't know what to do. That's good. No, up here. Right there. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Please don't get stuck. Okay. I'm done. No, that's death. Oh, it's not. Nice. Well, not exactly nice. I have 5 health left. I have 12 food right now. This is the second surface raid that you've thwarted. You must defeat one more. Some local villagers give you food with thanks. No, no they don't. What? Stairs. Were you hoping this was the end? Another floor. You've discovered the exit to this area. Take the stairs. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Do you understand what it is we do now? Yeah, kill me. That's what you Oh no. No ho oh, ho. Well that'll kill me, isn't it? Two pain cards. Lose fifteen max health. Lose ten health per curse. Oh look at that. And each moment of pain brings more suffering. Pain returns. I'm sure you thought you'd seen the back of it. The cold embrace of death. And Note to self, take out the graveyard, because the graveyard is not a friend. Okay. Okay. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. Do I do another run? Do I do another run? God, I've had enough. Ah, oh, ha, ha. I wish I played something more casual than this. But now I can't switch to casual mode, can I? Not anymore. 
I'm uncertain. Now I've waited too long. I'm almost got your hopes up that I'm gonna do another run. Maybe I'm gonna do a run, another run then. Let us see what fate lies ahead. It's only been ten minutes after all. We did do well against the golem technically. Of course, when he, when you attack him, you can dodge backwards. But I would never, if it weren't for me standing directly on top of a bridge then I wouldn't dodge behind me because if he does the overhead strike he will get me. One dodge isn't enough to get away from that. I have to just dodge behind him if he does that one. But if he does the AOE, I, I'm i screwed either way. I, I'm screwed if I dodge right behind him on the bridge. So I cannot fight him on the bridge because I need to dodge to the left or to the right and have no traps around. Like if, if that area wasn't trapped I that that would be free challenge become too much for you to face asshole that's not a challenge that's just a kick in the nuts it's not oh my god I've gotten so vulgar I'm sorry I am sorry I really do try to not swear at all during during gameplay or during my let's play videos but if I'm frustrated I kind of abandon that thought and start to say all kinds of bad things and I'd rather not I'd rather not. Where's the where's the graveyard? There you are. Sure, Devil's Wager. That couldn't possibly be bad, no. Start. I took the Devil's Wager because I can get max health there. And I have to have some level of skill. Of course, by now the Devil's Wager has two monster cards with it, so well, that's not exactly great. Think about Cursed luck place. and no options, so that's a you fairly what? Die, yet we reset the board each time. One has to wonder how it is possible to truly. Lose. Hmm. One day you happen upon a young wizard practicing his magic in the forest. He greets you in a friendly manner and beckons you closer. Since we have been forced to leave our sacred tower, to leave our sacred tower, we must make our way in, uh, make our own way in this world. For a small fee, I could transport you to a destination in a faraway land. Pay five gold for a teleportation spell. You hand over the food, and the wizard pr ah five food no, and the wizard prepares himself for casting. Curse you, brain, for not reading everything out properly. The young wizard waves his hand, saying, Don't worry, I'm almost always successful in transporting myself to other places. Luggage is a little trickier. After arriving at your destination, you continue your journey. All the world is a game board. And All the world is a game board. Wow, that's... Unfortunate that I'm missing out on all of that, but... You have choices, and I have well, we're gonna go. Hitch a ride. You found a friendly trader willing to let you ride on his wagon. You have discovered the exit to this area. Hitch a ride. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Your currency is spent. Your memories tattered and torn. Ooh, traveling tinker. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Tinkers sell all items of all kinds of descriptions. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Emperor's Jewel Sock. Skilled Master's Ring is kinda cool. Inferno Potion. No idea what that will do. We're gonna buy food and be done with it. I'm not gonna buy more food because if we come across the Bard, he's gonna want 10 gold. Otherwise, he's a dead step, and I'd rather not have that happen. I wish you could buy maps at, at shops. That would be a good option. Golem hunting party. Hi. Defeat this challenge three times in one session to remove it from your deck. It is kind of fun to fight him. It is. On a moonlit night, you see a group of golems on their way to attack another human settlement. I don't think you gain anything from defeating him, though. I have seven food right now. Attack. You charge into battle. 
Okay, where are the trap locations now? Hmm. Well, that's, that's, we know this one. Hi. Here's a trap. Wait, why didn't you proc it? You're a bad man. There's way, uh, there's some over there. Where are you coming from? But in general, this is a good area to fight him in. He's gonna explode. Overhead strike? No. Explode. No overhead strike. Oh, explode! Get away! Explode? Ah, oh, I got hit by that one. Why do you not do the things I do? Oh. Get away! Okay, bad area to fight him. Also, camera, please cooperate, maybe? Oh. Oh, I only lost 33 health. The loose piles of rock and stones around you are a good start at teaching these creatures a lesson. Some local villagers give you food with thanks. Ah, uh, the food means that I don't, um, I don't eat any food on this step, but then I also don't regenerate any health. Oh. Well, I was trying to avoid those. Thank you, though. One day while traveling through a forest, you come across a man hanging by his ankle. You inquire about his current predicament, but he explains that he does not want any help. I've accepted the destiny that fate has decreed for me, just like you should accept yours. One blessing, one curse. Wrath of the Gods is pretty good. These blessings are too good Splinter Jewels. On every successful combat without God, lets the player loses a ring. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Wow. Do I sacrifice a ring? Of course I do. Of course. Why not? I'm kind of mad. I, I, I really am kind of mad. You charge into battle. Let's see those trap locations again. Oh god, that's right there. There's a lot of traps here. There's... game? What? Yeah... Yeah, that happened. I expected that. Can you please tell me what just happened? This is the second surface raid that you've th thwarted. Thwarted is the word. You must defeat one more. Some local villagers give you food with thanks. Well, that was, um, that was something else. I've literally no clue what just happened. Um, the guy was at full health. I dodged away he and I caused a weapon or a, a trap to shoot arrows at him. He was in the middle of a strike. Got hit, and you know, got obliterated by that, so, um, well, I guess we know what weapons to use against a golem next time. Please do tell me what happened there. That is clearly a bug. That is clearly a bug, because that trap is not supposed to do 100 damage, and, um, well, I'm not gonna complain about that. That was real good, but that also took away my ring of what? I still got killing streak, so that's okay. Ring of Hindsight was the not so good one. Ferry boat. Y a ferry will carry you to your next adventure. You have discovered the exit to this area. Catch the ferry. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Once many came to play the game. Now it's so few. Ah, oh, oh, hangman, come on. 
One day while traveling through a forest, you come across a man hanging by his ankle. You inquire... Ah, oh, I'm not gonna read it out. Critical strike, okay. Dealer's spite. Whenever the player selects a huge success card, they must also draw one pain card. Really? Hero's remains is a dead step. I've got it, you know, my hair and stuff. Hit a ride. Get away. You have found a friendly trader willing to let you ride on his wagon. Hit a ride. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. This is where it ends. Yeah, it is. Or at least, this is where the conclusion begins. Call out to offer help. Okay, I get a food gain card. Your final challenge awaits. Ten food! Look at that! Well, traveling healer. Hello. I know I probably should read them out, but by now I'm frustrated and I don't want to. You all know those cards, so in a bit I'll start again. Next episode I'll read them out again. If I come across something new or something important, then I'll read it out, but not the food wagon and not the damn hanged man. Axe, killing streak, shield, warlord helmet. Well, that's some top-notch equipment you've got right there. No need to buy any food, and I have 13 gold. Yep. We all know what's gonna happen. Local peasant. Well, do you want five food? I'm gonna give you five food. The woman takes your food, eagerly passing it to some children who suddenly rush from the forest, hands outstretched. You've given us enough food to survive the winter, stranger. She retrieves a sack from behind a bush. This was my husband's before he died. Please accept it as thanks. Come on, undead bane. Assassin's Greed. With these equipped, every successful combat grants the player some gold. Hmm. Pretty good. While the children eat, the woman speaks at length of what she's seen and heard. Oh. Ferry boat, huh? Small trial by combat. Win this and claim my token. Huh. Do I literally have to streak up 30? You descend into the deepest recesses of the earth. Surrounded by chanting lizard men, you enter the arena. Four scales. Okay. Have to use bashing a lot here. No fire lizard. First draw them out, they cannot be stacked on top of each other like that. Yeah, 0 out of 30, it's clear. He's not gonna reach me. No! Ow! 0 out of 30 again. I, ha I went in here with 50 health. Oh, I got friggin' hit twice. <laughs> so it goes. I get hit two times and lose oh one hundred percent of my health. Oh you tell me if that's fair or not. God, that's such a bad joke. Those are normal enemies. That's not even a boss. <laughs> Unbelievable. How can bosses be easier than normal enemies? <sighs> what a joke. Well, for the moment, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.